What's up, everybody? It's me, the Spirit here. And I'm back with another online battle of Total War Warhammer 3, playing as the Ogres versus Cathay. Now, this battle here, this is a pretty tricky battle and pretty heavy at that, considering the fact that this, this guy, guy has used Mao Ying to the best of her abilities. So as you guys hear, my army here, I have, let's go ahead and break this out here. We have four units of Nobblers. We have about three units worth of Ogre Bulls Iron Fist. We have a unit of Nobbler uh, Scrap Hole Launcher, or two units of that. And then also we're running Scrag a Slaughterer into the battle here. So let's go ahead, check this out here. Look at the, look, look at these guys here. Look at all nice, medium, beefy. So of course we have the, the Nobblers here as the front line. They're gonna be doing the, their thing, taking out the Cathayan front line. Then back over here on the Cathayan side here. We do have uh, the Cadans with the Grand Can, Grand Can, if I recall. With a couple units of, of the uh, front line here. Which I believe these are Dragon Guards, if I recall. Let's take a look and see. Nope, Peasant Long Spearman. And of course, we have Bao Ying still in her human form as of right now. Now, on the left flank here, I'm trying to keep my, my Saber Tusk pack over here on the left side hidden. Because I want to really go for the Cathayan artillery and this is what I really want to target right now. So I'm using my launchers to target their uh, Grand Cannons or firing rockets. A nice little play, place charge against their front line. Good impact, really good impact. It really shows you the size of how big these ogres are compared to humans. Looks like she's going ahead using a regenerative spell to get to my units. So as she's here, I have my group of Nobblers who are also currently retreating right now. <laughs> they, But they've done their job. They've done their job. And also keep in mind that my Nobblers, they have a couple of chevrons uh, put into them. So they're holding out as best as they can. So right here on the, the rear flank here, I have my same test pack attacking the artillery. This is the perfect flank. And I feel like that I got him caught off guard, so he brings up his um, Terracotta Sentinel, and then also a group of, looks like another group of Peasant Spearmen in the rear. So I was like, oh, okay, they're coming on in, you know, I did, my Saber has done their damage, what I need to do, and so I tried to break them out as soon as possible. Well. Pretty soon we're gonna um, get these guys out of here, we're gonna target the next artillery unit. Because, you know, we don't really, I don't want Cat Data. So here, as you guys see, we have Mao Yi here flying her Graceful Sniss into the battlefield. Now, I'm trying to pull it off my artillery, but it's a little bit too late. So this is a big challenge here. I'm like, uh, this is going to hurt a lot because he's going, because she's going for my artillery units, of course. And so that's a good thing, though, because you got to remember, when Yao, Mao Yi is in her dragon form, she loses the her uses of her other spells. So... I believe she only really maybe past the vortex spell, if I recall. So that's okay. So back into the front line here. And I have my ogre bulls uh, retreating. They're coming back though. Same thing as my novels. They're currently being pelted. And I have Scrag, the slaughter here in the front line, uh, doing his damage. Now back over here, of course. Again, like some now, Yud is currently doing her thing, taking out my back line. Yeah, I was trying to think in my head, like, what can I do to get control of Mao Ying, in which I want to say I brought up my hunter. Look at this big, this big man here. He's going to go hunting for a dragon. Look at that, direct head. But make sure to uh, bring her, to bring him out, just to target Mao Ying. I was like, I kind of figured in my head that at the start of this battle, he was, my opponent's going to bring in Mao Ying, so. And back over here, Scrag is currently still in battle, fighting the, the Terracotta Sentinel. So Scrag is doing some damage, doing beautiful damage, honestly. Look at that pot there. So, I got a, uh, my group of Saber Tusk packs back in the rear again. They're doing the deed of taking out the artillery, which is great. And then, as you guys see, here's the unit of Peasant Spe uh, Jade Warriors. <sighs> Out of formation, actually. And so this was weird of him to use his artillery units to attack my units on the side. And in the aspect, that's him hurting his own units as well. So it's kind of like, as you guys see there, it's kind of kind of funky on what he, why he was doing that for. But hey, it works out for me, right? 
So as you guys see, I currently have all three points hold, uh, held up. And so I feel like that my opponent here used Mao Ying way too extensively in the rear instead of like using her to focus up the front line or to at least thin out my front line. And so as me not paying attention, I realized that, oh no, my artillery unit is in the front line. What am I doing? You know, I was actually like, yikes, what's going on here? You know, just me normally cringing. On the left flank here, as you can see, we have these iron L gunners on the side. And also have my, um, I have another nobbler here trying to attack Mao Ying or trying to get her down, at least peel her off a little bit. So I call in another group of ogre bulls. Again, I'm uh, sorry, man eaters. You know, they're coming in to do the job here. They're my rear backup. Now, I will say this my hunter here, but you're casting his uh, hunter ability here. Right now, that completely misses the shot. Still got my missile units trying to pelt up Mao Ying. So he's currently AFK, not being just Mao Ying whatsoever, which is, hey, it's fine with me. You guys can't get an idea what's going on here. There goes my uh, Tim Tusk units again in the back line. Going for his artillery. So yeah, he doesn't really pay too much attention to his artillery in the back line, which I'm proud about. Just lets me have free pickings in his artillery units. Back over here, I'm getting my I'm trying to get my army back together. And he's trying to reset his iron hell gunners. Not most here are just sitting here, you know, they're trying to contemplate on whether they're going or not. So I see my man eat, my man is in. They're going ahead doing some damage here. Still got my little uh, novel here. I'm just like, I kept forgetting the heels there. I was like, you know, I'm just not paying attention. Hey, but hey, I'm a casual. So I did cast a spell with my hunter here to do a direct shot, uh, an artillery bombard, but I missed, I missed click, or I want to say not misclick, but I missed uh, position heavily. So our, my opponent still hasn't gotten any, any capture points as, as of yet. And then I have my novel trappers here doing some damage on the, on the right flank here. So I feel like the hardest thing for my opponent here was trying to pay attention on what to focus on, what to do next. So then I have a group of Iron Bull, Iron Fist here. Going ahead and regrouping. This unit finally retreated from getting pelted so many times. I get my fault. So now I'm just pretty much just holding with uh, whatever front line that I have. Still getting a group of Iron Fist back out, or both back out. Now as you see here, Malgi's in the background. Uh, literally, with only 1500 HP left, She's doing her thing, but man, she she was annoying them my back line so hmm. So he has his current missile units out doing some really heavy really heavy damage here. I was expecting him to use maybe use a unit or two to capture the center here, but he's not doing anything with, with his units whatsoever. So I wanna say in this battle here, both sides technically played pretty bad, but yeah. Not too bad though, that's what I'll uh, that's what I will say. His Terracotta Citadel is probably my major adversary that would be hard to take down. So I want to say as a Cat Day player, he deployed a lot more units than what I did, but just me misusing. And this is part of my early days playing the Ogre, uh, uh, Ogre, so... Just getting used to how they play now, how they're full, and how they use their units. It's a challenge, you know, getting used to different factions, but it takes time, you know, like their ins and outs. Now I give this, now I will say this. The iron gel, these iron hail gunners here were not effective whatsoever. Twelve kills with uh, with that here, yeah, that's uh, that's really bad. They weren't effective, kills, especially how long they've been sitting there. But as you guys see here, cashing all three points made it go, made it happen. You know, if you guys did enjoy this video of uh, my Total War Warhammer 3 online battle. Please remember to like and subscribe. Also, if you can hit the bell notification to be notified when the next videos are coming out. But thanks for watching. Peace out, much everybody. How we going, y'all? If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also hit the bell notification down below. Thanks for watching.